guys it's your boy dim 3d making this video for the fifth time now because i have hit my stopped recording hotkey five times so as you can tell i'm pretty irritated from this um the point of this video pretty much is i'm going to be showing you the willow tree application how to mod your character your class type um your guns your shields your money your quests, literally everything. So hopefully I need to remember not to hit my stop recording button this time and just hop into it. So first off, we're gonna go up and into Google and type in Willow Tree Borderlands. You have to click on the sourceforge.net link. That's the easiest way to get to this application. Now. Click download. When this thing hits one or zero, it will download. Since I already have it downloaded, it doesn't matter. Um, next thing to do is go into your file uh, explorer and find your save data folder in your Borderlands game. This works for Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, and pre-sequel, I believe. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, you go and you find your save data folder. It's going to be in my games slash uh, Borderlands game of the year, depending on what folder you have it in. That's what mine is in. You'll see these in here. Now, each one of these is a save, these .sav files, and each one is a character in your game. Now I'm going to be doing save three because save three is my Mordecai and I want to get my Mordecai from level 27 to level 69. So I already have it copied here on my desktop because it is the easiest place to be able to open the, uh, the file is on my desktop. So anyways, you uh, get the willow tree. It's going to be in... Um, It's going to be uh, in this RAR file right here. And you're going to want to hit Extract to hit Desktop, or wherever you want to do it to, it doesn't matter. And then hit OK. Then that will give you a file that looks something like this, all on your desktop. Now you can take all of these and throw them in a folder like I did and just call that willow tree. It's the easiest thing to possibly do. Um, I also made a backup save folder because backing up your saves is actually definitely recommended. So nothing in your game corrupts. So I'm going to go into my willow tree here. I'm going to go to willow tree. Uh, willow tree. I, I can't remember what that symbol is called. Pound the pound symbol, willow tree pound symbol, um, and double click it, open the application. Now this is why we put our save file on the desktop is because it'll make it easier to access it when you go to open a file in willow tree. What this does is it lets you open, and I got my Mordecai file right here, hit open, and it will bring up my Mordecai um, save from my game. It shows me everything that I've already done everything that I've gotten to, everything that I have in my inventory, my guns, my items, my skills, uh, my quests, uh, my ammo, and my echo logs, even in my Mad Moxie Underdome bank. So literally no uh, limit to what I can do here, besides like levels, to be, uh, to be honest. But this is basically what you can do with it. You can get any gun in the game, you can get infinite ammo, you can get modded guns, you can get modded shields, you can get uh, any quest done, you can get um, any level you want from 1 to 69, you can get as much backpack space as you want, as much bank space as you want, uh, you can get as many skill points as you want, and cash. So as you can see my hunter here is level 27, I need to not hit the 2 this time, I'm going to put level 69 from level 27 that is 42 skill points since i want a legit character i'm gonna put 42 skill points hopefully this doesn't stop my recording 
we're good. Last time, the last five times I did that, it stopped my recording and I did not know why. So now I know. I'm gonna change this to four because I want four equip slots. Um, and my current location, I spawned under the map seven times in T-Bone Junction. So I'm just actually gonna change this to uh, Crazy Earl Scrapyard because I need to spawn somewhere else, please. Uh, anyways, uh, we can change this Mordecai name to Hunter Mod. Uh, and this is where we start the actual modding. Now, let me get my mod thing up real quick so I can get the codes. Um, you can go to this website right here for all of your codes that you need for all of the super modded weapons. Um, Uh, all of these guns are modded, so they're going to be all one-shot guns. They're going to kill everything instantly. Yeah, it, you're going to kill everything pretty much instantly. So, just know that um, you're going like all out when you do this, by the way. So, I'm just going to get the combat rifle right now. Uh, I'm going to copy the code. The whole thing. I'm gonna go into my guns, my weapons backpack, hit import from clipboard, and then uh, hit save. It's gonna change the gun to level 69, and hopefully that will give me a level 69 gun, but I don't know if that's how that works right now. Um, we got all these class mods and stuff. I don't know what to do, but I want it. So I'm going to go into my items, since all of your secondary items go into your item slot instead of your weapon slots. So you, it's very important that you do this. Um, so you go into your items, go to file, import from clipboard, put it in, save. Now it's in my inventory. Don't need anything anymore, have everything I want. Skills. I, I will change my sniper rifle, uh, my sniper rifle proficiency from seven to fifty, uh, and I will change my adrenaline. And no, I don't. Don't know if that works like that. But anyways, so as you've seen, I changed some stuff. I put my guns. I put a gun in my thing. I put a modded weapon in my thing. A modded uh, class mod in my thing. So hopefully that'll show up. I modded my skill points, my level and all that. As uh, you may have seen, it showed me as level 27 at first, which was true. Uh, and that will hopefully change now. So we're going to do save. Uh, it saved it as save three. I'm gonna go back into my save data folder and delete save three because I have one already in my backups. Now, I just want to delete the back dot, or the dot back one. It's going to ask you if you want to confirm. I'm going to say yes. From here, all you do is go into your game, and everything should be exactly as you made it. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be very disappointed because I've been doing this a little bit, and I should know how it works. Start game and I don't know which one it is. This is not right. I think I'm I think I messed it up. Pretty sure I messed it up. Why is this still called Mordecai? I 
I think it's because... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Save three dot save dot back one is actually a backup save. It's actually a backup save. So we're gonna put save three in here. Save three. Now we're gonna go into our game. Sorry, when I say I'm tired, I'm, t I'm, I'm really tired. I woke up at 10 this morning, had to ride my bike three miles in the rain and 20 mile an hour winds in 50 degree weather for three miles. And then I worked for 11 hours doing labor work. And then Oh, rode my bike back another three miles in the dark in the cold 30 degree weather with 20 mile an hour winds again so when I say I'm tired I am very tired and then as soon as I got home I actually made the Cromerax video that is I just made like an hour ago but when this video posts it'll be like a couple days ago so I'm tired, dude. I, I try to make content whenever I can, and it's it's killing me a little bit, but I like it. So hopefully now my thing should actually be changed. Look, there it is already, right off the bat. Poha level 69 hunter. I didn't even get to do anything yet, and it's already there. We're going to do playthrough too, because why not? Time. <laughs> Welcome to Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. And there we go. Level 69. As I promised. Great! I now, detected your echo device. Let's check what's in my inventory. Class mod? Class mod? I was very sure that I put a class mod here that was uh that was modded but i guess not way, please. but i do have skill points so once i get to the new use station over here i'm gonna respec Back. Thank you. And I'm gonna put what actually matters in my thing. In my thing. So let's see. Uh, we need accuracy. We need damage with sniper rifles. We need that. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. And that's all we actually need. But I'm going to get um, a lot of the other stuff too. Because why not? Uh, let's see. Increased max. We can do this for shields.
So we can actually use it for, um, we can actually use Bloodwing now for ammo drops. So that's max. That, that right there is max points that you can legitimately get in the game. And uh, this is probably the best build that you can do for Hunter, not gonna lie. Because it's like the only build that you can do for Hunter. <sighs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance. Should it now we're gonna quit the desktop and I'm gonna see if I can actually get those guns. Whoops. I'm actually going to see if I can get those guns. Let's see. We're going to get this. Let's see. Willow tree. Open. Save three. Weapons, import from clipboard, shredder, level 61, save changes. I get this, import from clipboard, save changes. Copy items, import, save, save. Okay, now we're gonna replace save file three. Start our game back up. And hopefully it will finally be what we want. And we don't have to go through the claptrap tutorial again because this video is already long enough as it is. Mother. F See you next time. Welcome to Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. <sighs> Four ninety. This isn't even the right character. Son of a. See you next time. Oh my God. Firestone. This is ridiculous. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation.
detect that your echo device is fully. Now, I have monitored weapons. Just like that. <coughs> this gun is probably broken as hell because it's a freaking. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, by the way, this is a modded shield. Yeah. Can probably never die with this thing on. Yeah, y you can never die with this thing on, by the way. Unless if you're fighting a hunter and they can pierce your shields. But anyways, let's get this stuff on. Functioning. This way, please. And these guns are broken as hell, by the way. I'm gonna show you me not dying. I'm gonna show you me killing everything in one shot. Step right up. Just so you understand this that this stuff is actually station. modern. When you use this device, your DNA profile is automatically identified and stored. Please activate the new use station now. So we're gonna go through this again because I need to. I think I did it wrong, but we'll eventually get this sorted out and see what By the way, just so you're aware, 361 times 5 is more damage than any sniper rifle in the game. So I'm doing as much damage as a sniper rifle with just this gun. Are, are they gone? Those bandits really have it in for us claptraps. Using us as target practice is not part of our programming. As you can see, everything is dying in one shot. Don't even have to try. I think Bloodline will actually kill them in one hit too. Yeah. So at this point, I'm just so OP that nothing is in the chance. You should open the storage device just to maybe something inside to help against those bandits. But, anyways, you guys have seen everything that this is capable of. I hope you wow. enjoyed the video. Like um, I'm gonna go through what this can do one more time before I end this video. So I'm gonna open back up my save file. I'm gonna show you. Open save three, general. I can change all everything that I want, bank capacity, uh, backpack capacity, weapon eclipse slots, uh, playthrough two, uh, the whatever save slot it is, how much cash I have, how many skill points I have, how much experience I have. Experience will automatically change with the level and the level will automatically change with the experience. Um, you can change your name, you can change your class. You can change whatever weapons you want or have in your item, uh, your inventory. You can change whatever items you have in your um, 
your inventory as well, such as like grenades, class mods, uh, iridian artifacts, uh, shields, everything. You can change your proficiencies, your levels for the proficiencies, I mean. You can automatically complete quests in your quest log. You can change how much ammo you have. Uh, see, this is how tired I am. You can change how much ammo you have for each weapon. You can go through and respawn each echo log and listen to them. Uh, you can automatically import items into your bank. So uh, let's just import a ton of these right there into my bank. I'm going to save this as save 0005.sav. And um, don't actually know if that will change. But I'll see. I'll see if that works. I'll see if I can actually start the game like that without it. Um, without it actually uh, changing the level and changing the damages and stuff like that and the shield capacity and whatnot. So I'm gonna go in here and then I'm going to instantly teleport to Mad Moxie's Underdome. So this will take another three minutes. I think this is the one. See you next time. <laughs> Welcome to Firestone. I'll know which one it is because I my inventory will not have the two modded guns that you I just may showed call you. Me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. And on this note, I'm going to end the video and edit this to show you what my bank looks like because I don't feel like making you guys wait another five minutes to see what's in the bank. Great! So I thank you all for your watching. Device is fully functioning. And I will see you in this the next way, please. segment, which is in three, two, one. So just a quick edit. Um. The bank thing didn't work. Uh, I guess I had to hit save changes first and then save the profile. Uh, but that would just ruin the capacity and the effectiveness of the shield. So, I mean, it doesn't even matter. I'll probably figure it out and make an update video later on. But um, for now, I need to get some sleep. So, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Um, please tell your friends about these videos I mean like tell people about these videos if they want to learn a lot of Borderlands stuff because I'm going to be making a lot of Borderlands videos for every Borderlands coming out and every Borderlands that's already out and I would really appreciate the I can't even think of the damn words uh, I would appreciate the exposure my channel needs to be uh, a little more like active and known, I think, because I, I want people to see my videos. You know, I feel like I feel like I do stuff that should be seen by people who actually want to watch and learn. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, comment, like, subscribe or dislike. Do not flag. I will hunt you down. I'm joking. Uh, but anyways, see you guys later.